YouTube, what's up? Everything Engineering. Uh, today we're going to be looking at the LU decomposition and numerical method analysis. And we're going to be looking at Kraut's method. So I have a previous video where we did uh, LU decomposition as well using the Doolittle method. Um, so there is three kind of main methods that I'm going to be looking at in my tutorials and as well as in your class you're probably going to be looking at these three um, methods because they're just kind of general and uh, the most popular methods to uh, do LU decomposition. So the first one we've already done, um, do little approach. Um, I'll send a link somewhere around here so you can check that out if you haven't already. Um, and then today we're going to be looking at the Krauts method. Uh, otherwise it's known as the um, inner product. Now the difference between Doolittle's method and the Krauts method is that uh, the Krauts method you actually don't need to do Gaussian elimination. You don't need to do any Gaussian elimination with this method so that's nice. If you don't like to do Gaussian elimination um, this method might be um, the one for you. Uh, all you need to do is matrix multiplication. Um, it's a little bit different. So we'll run through an example. Um, it's the best way to do it. I could give you some theory on it, but it's just kind of confusing having all these subscripts because you have like A, I, J, and A, I plus one, blah, blah, blah. and It, it just gets kind of confusing. So we're just going to run through an example, uh, hands-on three by three matrix, and um, that'll be the best way for you guys to understand and get the uh, LED composition using the Krauts method. So we're going to be given a matrix A and that equals the product of our lower triangular matrix and our upper triangular matrix. So same thing um, as in the other method except for with the Doolittle method if you remember our lower triangular matrix our diagonals were were, uh, were one where our upper triangular matrix we had our actual our values right it had our actual values in there. So that's the do little method. Now with the Krauts method, our lower triangular matrix has actually got the values now, right? So let's just call this L11, 2, 0, 0. And then we have our values also in the uh, lower triangular matrix. And then the upper. That's now got our one. So that's the only difference that you need to remember when uh, choosing which method you, that uh, you want to do. So this is basically the setup of our do little method. This is how we want to start our problem. So now let's, uh, I'll give you the matrix and this is what we're going to be decomposing into our lower and upper triangular matrices. So here we go. So there's our matrix A. Now we can say that equals a product of two matrices are lower and our upper triangular matrix okay so basically for this method what we've done here we've set up our matrices our L and our U and our matrix A and then we want to pick out the first component in our given matrix A because if you remember for matrix multiplication if we were to multiply L and U matrix by each other this value in our A matrix, the 1, this component is just this product of the first row and the first column, right? Matrix multiplication, basic stuff, that's simple. So let's write this all out. So for this first element, we can say that 1 is equal to L11, 0, and 0. Right? We're just looking at the first row of our lower triangular matrix multiplied by 1, 0, 0. Okay? So this equals 1 because this equals the first component of our given matrix A, row times column. That equals L11 plus 0 plus 0. Therefore, L11 is equal to 1 that easy. So now we can look over here. Okay, cross it out, put in a 1. So now we want to look at this guy, the 2. So this is the first row still, but now we're dealing with the second column, okay? 
So first row, second column, we're still dealing with our first row in our lower triangular matrix, but now we're looking at our second column of our upper triangular matrix. So now we're multiplying ma matrix multiplication because we're looking at this column and this row, therefore the lower ma triangular matrix, same thing, row one, upper triangular matrix is column two. So do that matrix multiplication and this is what you get. So you set that equal to 2, right? So we have 2 equals, again, these are the same because we're still looking at the first row of our big matrix, therefore we're using the first row of our lower triangular matrix. So now that's multiplied by our second vector. So u1, 2, 1, and 0. And notice that we've solved for L11, right? We know that this is equal to 1, so let's put that in there. So now we've got U12 times 1 plus 0 plus 0. That equals 2. Therefore, U12 is equal to 2. Simple. See? That's easy, right? Cross this out. Throw in a 2. Same thing with the third column of our uh, of our upper triangle matrix. Now we've got a 3. So now we want to deal with the third row, or sorry, the third column, the third vector of our upper triangular matrix, and but we're still in the first row, the top row of our lower triangular matrix. So now doing this matrix multiplication, just like we just did for the first and second one, let's go 3 equals this is 1. Now we're dealing with u1, 3, u2, 3, and 1, right? Multiplying this out, u1, 3, plus 0, plus 0. Perfect. U. So 3 equals u1, 3. Alright, so we found the first rows of our upper and our lower triangular matrices. Now let's start picking away at the second rows. And this looks like crap, so let's just rewrite it out, make things a little bit neater for us. So again, we'll look at our A. So now I'm just gonna put in the values that we just solved for up here for our L11. Remember that is equal to one, right? So I'm just gonna put that in there, just make sure you guys know where that came from. And we're still looking for L21, L22, and so on. In our upper triangular matrix, we've almost solved. So I'm just going to fill in these values. All we need left is this, U2, 3, right? So we've got 2 and 3 up there. Remember where these came from. Remember these were from here and up there, right? So that's where those guys came from. Just don't forget about that. Uh, okay, so now let's clean this up a little bit. Let's start picking away at our second row, our second row of our lower triangular matrix, and then we're going to get our um, U23. So we're not dealing with the first row anymore. We're done with that. We need to look down at the second row. So starting off at number two, see the matrix multiplication for the second guy. So two equals. Now remember we're dealing with the first column of this and the second row. So we've got the second row on the lower triangular matrix, and then we're still looking at the first column of the upper. So that's just one, zero, zero. And that gives us, that's just two. Two, boom. All right, so now back to our matrix A. We've got 20, so let's say 20. All right, so remember this guy, that's just, uh, that's two. So I'm just gonna put that in there. And we're still looking at the, or not, so now we're looking at the second row, second column. So I'm going to circle the second column. So this is what we're multiplying now by, right? Because you've got 20, which is in the second row, second row, second column. So now we've got our second row and our second column here, right? So we're multiplying that by 210. 
So 20 minus 4 equals L22 equals 16. So L22, 16. All right, so now we need to look at third column, third component of the second row. Then now we're checking out this guy, the third vector, the third uh, column of the uh, our upper triangular matrix. And this is the lower. Okay, so we've got 26. I'm just gonna put these values straight in. Remember we just solved for um, L22 to be 16, so that's where this came from. Not equals. Remember matrix multiplication, simple. See, so that's pretty easy. It's just systematic, and if you kind of understand the process, then it just gets easier, right? Let's do a bunch of examples, and then you'll be able to do it, no problem, close to zero. So this gives us U23 of 5 over 4. So now we've solved for the upper triangular matrix, right? Now we're still looking for our lower triangular matrix. The, now we're looking at the third column. So I'm going to rewrite this one more time just to clean this up a little bit because it does get kind of messy. So we've got A. And now we've solved for this whole upper triangular matrix. All right, so that one's done. So that's sweet. Now we just need to quickly figure out the lower triangular matrix. Yep, since we're looking at the third row of the lower, we're now dealing with the third row of the big matrix. So starting us off, set 3 equal to remember the first column, right? Because we're looking at the first column of the third row. So now we're looking at this guy, 1, 0, 0. So 3 equals 0. Matrix multiplication, easy, right? So this guy is 3. Now we're looking at 26. It's really systematic. It's, just, it's quite repetitive. Once you do it a couple times, it'll be, it'll be a joke. It'll be super easy for you guys. Okay, so now we're saying 26 is equal to... I'm just going to go ahead and throw this value right in there at L3, 1 we've got it to be 3, right? So L3, 2. Now we're looking at second column, right? So L3, 2 equals 26 minus 6, 20. All right, so finally we're looking at the last guy. And yep, it's the same thing again. So easy, let's go 70 equals, we're looking at the third column Again, I'm just going to go ahead and plug this 20 in as my L32. You've seen it enough times now. 36. Nice. All right, so now we solve for our lower end up with triangular matrices, and let's just write them out one more time. So our lower triangular matrix and our upper triangular matrix we just solved for using Kraut's method, and they are... There we have it, our lower and upper triangular matrices without doing any Gaussian elimination. So no Gaussian elimination here, just matrix multiplication, um, pretty basic stuff. So that's the second method that we've done. So again, I'll link my first uh, video where we did the Doolittle method, and now we just did the Crouch method. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you like uh, the content I provide. Um, and also check out my website at everythingeng.com. Thanks for watching.